Welcome once again right now at Philippians chapter 2, verses 14 through 18. Exhortation to perfection. Paul writes, Do all things without complaining and arguing, that you may become blameless and harmless. Listen to that. Paul says that you may become blameless and harmless. Paul says they should be blameless. That's like perfection. Blameless. That sounds a whole lot different than people today going, well, you know, we're just human. Everybody's going to sin. We're all sinners, you know. Paul didn't say that. He said, it's all about you being blameless. Children of God without defect in the middle of a crooked and perverse generation among whom you are seen as lights in the world holding up the word of life, that I may have something to boast in the day of Christ, that I didn't run in vain, nor labor in vain. Yes, and if I am poured out on the sacrifice and service of your faith, I rejoice and rejoice with you all. In the same way, you also rejoice and rejoice with me. I find it very ironic that a lot of people use the writings of Paul to excuse their sin, to say, oh, we don't have to, we don't go by the law anymore. It's not by works anymore. All we do is just believe and confess, or all we do is just trust in God's grace. But Paul says over and over and over again that it's about you being holy, being blameless, being without defect. That is powerful. How much of that? Do you hear preached in churches today? Seek God while he may be found. And if you seek him with all your heart, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.